Good morning, and I want to thank you very much for joining us for our little video today. We're going to have a quick little chat about how to translate your videos into a different language. The reason that that is important is because there is a huge international audience out there just waiting for you, but you need to be able to do your videos in a language that they can understand. Now, this is a quick and easy process. Well, I don't assume that you are going to want to spend a whole lot of time sitting here looking at my ugly face because I haven't shaved or anything for you today, so I'm sorry about that. Let's get right to looking at the video. Now, for starters on this, you are going to want to access this through Studio Beta. Now, I cannot do that on my computer, and we are going to do these translations on the computer. So what I'm showing you right now is how to access Studio Beta. I am doing that on my phone, but it's the exact same thing. It's a desktop version on the phone, so you're going to be looking at the exact same thing when you're on your computer. Like I said, you cannot do translations on your phone at the moment. When you are able to, this is how you're going to do it. So simply click on your video and then you are going to go to the side panel over here, click on this little icon, and it's going to say translations. Go ahead and click on that. Uh, just before we get started on this, there's a couple of things I do want to point out real quick just so that we're all on the same page. First off, I highly suggest staying tuned all the way through until the end of this video. I'm going to not only show you how to do translations, but I want to show you the impact that doing translation has on your analytics. It's kind of an important thing and it'll give you a better understanding of what YouTube and Google are thinking about when they're looking at your video. Uh, about a month and a half ago, we did a spearfishing video out on the Port Aransas jetty. There is a link in the top right hand corner of your screen to that video in case you want to check that out. Now, doing translations, the very first step of this is we need to edit the captions on the video. When you make a video, YouTube automatically captions that video for you. And when you go onto this screen, the translation screen, which is what we're looking at right here, you're going to see that there is already an English automatic published caption. What that is, that is the file of what YouTube thinks that you are saying in the video. And this is a really important first step because you want to make sure that what YouTube thinks you are saying is what you are actually saying. So we are going to click on their version of our captions first. And then in the top right hand corner of your screen right there, it's going to say edit. We're going to go ahead and edit what they think we are saying. And each one of these captions is now editable individually. Again, super, super important that you go through this list. This is the worst part. This is the most time-consuming part of doing translations, is going through what YouTube thinks you're saying and making sure it's accurate. And again, I cannot stress how important it is that you get this correct. So right off the bat, YouTube thinks that we are saying, so you having fun waiting on deck. I can tell you right now, that is not what I said. Now, to speed up this process, we're going to go ahead and skip through until I say that part in the timeline right here. What I actually say is, so are you having fun waiting on Nick, which we do a lot. Now, the next one thinks that we say, studies shine amid this gorgeous day out and we're stuck in the driveway. I know I didn't say that. So let's see what I really say. The sun is shining, and it is this gorgeous day outside. And we are stuck in the driveway and waiting on Nick. Now, you need to go through this entire list right here of all the things you scroll down you can see it's a lot it's not really as much as you think it's going to be but you can see i need to go through all of those and make sure that they are correct the more you do this the more and and if you do this sooner like right when you make the video you're going to be able to take a look down that list and know pretty much what you said and edit these pretty fa pretty fast but like i said super super important i'm going to go ahead and jump through this entire list right now we will cut over to the uh, next portion of this process as soon as I have this part done. 
one really important note that I kind of forgot to mention, but I really want to impress on you when you're doing translations. Again, getting these captions right. One of the most important aspects of this is to look at what your keywords are. Your, the big tags that you're gunning for, the title, uh, the, those big terms that you put in your description. For example, on this one, we are spearfishing in Port Aransas. Those are two of the terms that I'm really gunning for on this video. The reason it's important to edit these captions is because I say spearfishing a couple of times in this video. And spearfishing is the thing that I want people, when they're searching for spearfishing, I want them to find my video. There's a couple of times on here where I say spearfishing and spearable and spear this and spear that. YouTube had no clue what I was talking about. They didn't know, they, they did not hear me correct. It did not put spear, spearfishing, spearable, things like that in the captions. It changed it to spherical. It's important to have these captions edited because YouTube thought I was talking about spheres. It didn't realize I was talking about spear fishing. Changing these captions from spherical to spearable is now letting YouTube know, hey, I'm talking about spear fishing. That is going to go into the metadata of this video, and I have a suspicion. We're going to check on this at the end of the video that we're doing right now. I have a suspicion that YouTube is going to have a different opinion of our video once it knows exactly what I was saying. Okay, so I've finished up editing all of these captions down the row. And one quick little thing I wanted to show you, too, to make this just a little bit faster. You don't have to actually play the entire video. You can look through each one of these and when you see something that looks like it's weird not something you'd say you can click on it click on down to the next one and that is going to move you through the video so go buy your captions it'll be a lot quicker anyway i'm all finished with that i'm going to go ahead and go right up here to where it says publish edits and i am publishing that now my captions are complete and it's going to take me back over to the manage subtitles and close captions page it says right here subtitles are published and I've got a really slow computer, so it's taking just a moment. We're going to go ahead and click on that, try to get it updated. There it goes. Now, we have the ones that YouTube thought was correct, and we did another one that we know is correct. It's better than what YouTube said, and that's going to be the one that it's going to go to from now on. But we want to translate this. We want this to be in various languages. That's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to click on this blue bar, where it says add new subtitles or close caption. We are going to do this one in Spanish, <clears throat> Mexico Spanish, because I like my peeps down in Mexico. Click on that one. Wait for your slow computer to take forever. Okay, now it's gonna take us to the select method. How do we want to Manage our Spanish captions. You can upload a file, transcribe an auto sync, or create new subtitles or closed captions. A lot of this is for stuff that we don't really want to do with. This is for files that you have already created in order to make your uh, uh, subtitles and your Spanish stuff. What we're going to do is go ahead and go right here to create new subtitles or closed captions. Click on that guy. It's going to take us right back to our edit caption screens that we were just on. This is where YouTube expects you to go ahead and go in and type in your Spanish translation. But we're not going to do that. I don't know Spanish that well. So what I'm going to do is just go right to this little box right here where it says auto-translate. And I'm going to say auto-translate. It's going to go through that list of edited captions that we just did, and it's going to put them in the Google Translate automatically translated Spanish. Now, in the top right-hand corner of your screen, you've got the Publish button. Publish it. And we have Spanish subtitles right there. We're going to click on that guy to update it. It's updating. It just takes forever. And there we go. Spanish uh, Mexican Spanish has now been added to the subtitles and closed captions on this. Now, the next step, we're going to go back to the main video page. You just click on the video at any point. Just get back to this main um, video manager page for the video that we're working on. 
This next part is important because this is where it's going to help you in search. Now, people watching the video can now watch it with Spanish subtitles. That doesn't mean that they're going to be able to find it in search. So let's get that edited real quick. We're going to scroll down to the translations tab that's right there in the top right hand corner of your screen. Click on that. And this is going to show you your title and your description in English. We are going to add one in Spanish. So first we're going to translate, add new language, select language. We're going to do Spanish in Mexico Spanish. Add that language and it's going to give us an option here to type in our title and our entire description in Spanish. Again, my Spanish is not that good. So what I'm going to do is open up a new tab right here. I'm going to go to Google Translate. Okay, I've got Google Translate open. I'm going to go right back over here. I'm going to take my English title, copy it. I'm going to plug it in right here from English. We're going to translate it into Spanish. Paste it. And there is my title in Spanish. So we are going to copy that. Go right back over to our video. We're going to paste that in there. Now I'm going to select this description. Do the exact same thing. Go over to Google Translate. Get rid of that. And type in the new one. Translated. Let's scroll down. Highlight it. Copy. Head back over here. We're going to paste that into our description. And save changes. Now, this video is going to be searchable not only in English, but in Spanish. All right, so now that we've gone ahead and done all our translations and our captions, it's time to take a look and see how that impacts your video. And I'm going to make this quick, but this is some important information to take a look at. If you look on the side of your screen here, uh, I'm posting a comparison of my search ranks on this video before and a couple of hours after we made those updates. And if you take a look, it made small differences, but it did make a difference. What that is telling us is that YouTube is seeing the words that are being said in the captions, the things that you are saying in your video, YouTube is seeing that and it is applying it towards your search results. I was saying earlier how important it is that you update your captions to make sure what you are saying is being said correctly and this is why if they don't read you correctly they are not going to put your video in front of the people that are searching for the topics that you're doing if you're interested in checking out this keyword search tool that i'm using for this you can check out tubebuddy it's a free app there is a link in the description of this video down below check it out it'll show you how you're ranking on keywords i use it all the time it's a very valuable app. Check it out. It's free. I am an affiliate, so I do get paid. If you click on that link, I've made about zero dollars in having done this for the last six months. So I'm not getting paid a lot and it comes at no extra cost to you, but it's totally worth checking out. I highly suggest checking that app. Hey, I want to thank you very much for checking out this video with me today. I hope this helps you out. As usual, guys, please consider subscribing and slapping that captain's bell so that you never miss an opportunity to improve your videos with us.